Michael from the Camp Lorian. Today, we're gonna to talk about how I like to set up my trailer when we go disperse camping. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. I'm gonna take all this stuff down, get the trailer actually lifted up just a little bit because I'm six foot two, and for me to be comfortable underneath the awning, uh, the trailer needs to be just a little bit higher. So that's why I have these, and you'll see what I mean as I deploy them. So you need one of each of these for each side. I found that getting it up to the second level, not the third level, is the exact right height. So once I've got it backed up, still attached to the truck, then I'll take the chalk and get that wedged in there nice so it doesn't roll forward. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So at this point, before I do anything else, is I take out my big folding table. That way, as I'm working and I'm using tools and I'm not bending over and getting up, bending over, getting up, that just wears me out. It just, it's just helpful and then you easily can organize, see everything you need. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll move on to the next step. I need, I don't even know what you call this thing, but this is a little guy that the, the wheel goes into for the jack stand. So this is the lock that keeps the ball hitch locked up. Next thing we're gonna do is swing down the jack and sometimes you have to kind of there you go. So that guy's good to go. All right, next I'm gonna unplug the seven prong connector. I like to hang this over like this so that this never lays down in any mud and gets dirt in it. Uh, I think it helps keep it clean. So I'm gonna undo the safety chains, those undo the uh, emergency brake. Next step we're gonna do is try to get this somewhat level. But we actually want the front of the trailer to tilt down just a bit so that the uh, air conditioning, condensation, or rain will run off to the front right corner of the trailer. So that's how I like that bead to look um, so that it's tilting forward slightly. Uh, also, we sleep with our heads to the back of the trailer, so that elevates our heads slightly, uh, which makes for a more comfortable sleep. I'll keep this in the back of the truck with the rest of my tools, and this makes for very quick work of setting up the leveling jacks. And remember, these are not supposed to be load bearing. They're just to keep the trailer stable and to help level it out just a little bit. Uh, you don't want to put too much strain on these. I'm going to take these two wolf packs off the top and I'm going to deploy my Wi-Fi antenna uh, because once the awning's open, I can't get to the antenna. I, I made this um, aluminum bracket specifically to hold these two wolf packs in place. Um, it's got a little uh, padlock thing here that I can use. Right now I just have a carabiner in it just to keep it closed. So this pops open. And now I can take these boxes down. Next up, the Wi-Fi antenna. This is basically a giant twist tie. I went over this in our uh, Wi-Fi in the Wild video and uh, there'll be a link somewhere up here if you wanna watch that. And so that's real fancy. All you have to do is, oh, come on, lift her up in place. And now we're ready for Wi-Fi through our MoFi router. Our first step is to open the cover. So I have two poles that I keep in here for, for my shower tent that's on the back of my trailer. So we'll come back to these. So once you've got this open, you're ready to undo these Velcros and put the awning out. Make sure you take this first pole and drop it down because once you cinch that up onto the roof rack, uh, 
you won't be able to pull this out. So I will grab that one first. leaving for a trip to Colorado in five days, and the pole broke. I'm not happy. So I'm pretty bummed out at this point. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. I think I have some spare parts at home that I can repair that with. Uh, that's pretty unfortunate, but I'm able to wedge it up there so you can see how the awning goes up. Uh, after I get this leveled out just a little bit more, I'll start putting on the, the uh, awning walls. Talk about what happened when this broke. Traditionally, I've been able to open this by myself and I didn't think I was having an issue. I mean, I saw the, 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 the poles bending, and uh, but it seemed like it was kind of designed that way. Um, I think if I was gonna do this alone by myself, is I'd pull one out, drop the telescoping pole, move to the next one and keep moving around, or just simply have somebody help me keep it supported because that breaking, really stunk. I'm going to uh, deploy my solar panel before I do the walls on the awning. So this is how I deploy the tough stuff, shower tent, So depending on the wind, we can uh, have the option to stake it down. I'm not gonna do that today. I keep the walls to the tent in here on the bottom shelf. So these are the stakes I mentioned before. I store it in the uh, Blue Ridge Overland bag. Love these, they're super strong. But these stakes are basically big nails with a little stopper on the end. And these work great. Hit it in with a three pound hammer, it's going down. Okay, so I have two different kinds of guy lines set up. One, I have put a hook on the end, and the other, a carabiner. And I use these for the poles, um, and I use these for the center of the walls on the awning. little bits that we do is you know we get the table in here and of course there's so much room in this area you know obviously we can pull the kitchen out and have plenty of room to to walk around it but what I'm gonna get out now is um, a few items that we unpack last and we keep these items inside of the trailer so first is our water container we put it up here on the Stromberg tray like this. So now we can get water out as we need it, wash our hands, we'll keep a, a little hand towel out here, some hand soap, and that's just the perfect spot for that. And that leaves a little space open on this side to kind of replace my missing shelf that used to go here. So next is 
the uh, potty. Typically we will take that and either put it back in the shower stall or we'll leave it in here and kind of move the table over a little bit to, you know, give you some privacy. I usually have two of these crates up here. Today I only brought one with me. These things are great. This one is basically all of our bath and potty stuff. So soap, shampoo, body wipes, uh, Lysol, hand sanitizer, uh, baby wipes, toilet paper, uh, dish soap, all that sort of stuff. And we just kind of set this out here. This stays out here. And the other box that we put out here, same exact box, you can change where the dividers are. That's where we keep all of our toiletries, such as our medicine, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, all those types of personal items that we need at night. So it makes for a nice little area where you're getting ready to go to bed, you wanna take your medicine, you need to freshen up your face with some baby wipes or something like that. Sit down, take your shoes off, put them in the shoe holder, crawl into the trailer. So that's, that's the basic setup uh, from start to finish. And uh, we'll bring the chairs in here if the weather's bad or we'll keep them outside. Um, we'll cook uh, coffee, whatever, here on the, uh, on the slide out stove, water, solar hookup. And that is it.